so now the question is why snowflake uh, so one uh, one thing is like it is decoupling storage and compute we just discussed storage and compute it is decoupling so advantage is we are getting transient we are able to make use of transient cluster and hence we are able to optimize the cost so it is a data warehousing as a service so that means like uh, you can you don't need hardware you don't need software as such uh, software license or these things so you can just um, set up a trial account start using snowflake um, right? and uh, we have on demand scaling you can scale up scale down very easily in few seconds or few minutes it is much more faster the performance wise this is very fast is quite good for big data even for large data sets big data sets right so the performance is really good and we have lot of benchmarks available on net you can easily find so here um, you the updates are happening without downtime so updates are happening with no downtime 24 by 7 you can run uh, your operations so it is having support for semi structured data support for semi structured data we just discussed so it can understand semi structured data very well it can parse the nested fields and it can actually optimize the query plan and it can um, just ensure that it is leveraging the repeated fields and nested patterns and it has lot of native connectors for different technologies including spark um, and tableau and informatica and lot of other technologies so when we conduct our snowflake trainings we do uh, provide this like um, hands on like how do we integrate snowflake with spark tableau informatica and many other tools so uh, it supports multi tenancy because it is on cloud so you can actually uh, charge different departments accordingly so depending on their usage you can meter you can throttle you can monitor so you can do lot of things with regards to multi tenancy which was not possible in hive it is highly cost effective um, so there are lot of uh, case studies available return on investment so you can easily find on snowflake website uh, apart from that from security perspective it is quite robust Uh, so that means like it is hipaa compliant it is pci compliant and it supports various features with regards to security federated authentication authorization encryption by default data in snowflake is encrypted and aes 256 encryption is there and you can even provide your own keys to um, encrypt data in snowflake customer managed key is that feature is supported so it has like single copy of data so this is a very important feature single copy of data so uh, when you have to describe the snowflake architecture when we are discussing the snowflake architecture then i will explain this a bit more what is single copy of data and how it is helping in achieving lot of advanced technique without keeping multiple copies if you remember in hive if you worked with hive so you must have seen like we were creating multiple copies of the same data maybe in one in agro format another one in parquet format so as to serve the downstream system and uh, maybe uh, different applications have different requirements for partitioning or maybe you have uh, multiple copies getting created over a period of time then it is like a problem to synchronize all these copies right so this is like single version of code single copy of data so metadata management is very easy here and it is all uh, inbuilt within snowflake we don't need any relational database to store metadata and it is all decoupled from the data so that is another advantage when when i will be showing you the architecture then i will come back to these points like why i am saying metadata management and data is like uh, both are single version of code and they are all decoupled so we'll see that then there is another feature called zero copy clone and this is like very easy feature to like um, achieve that means cloning can be achieved in few seconds it is instantaneous so you can let's say uh, create a sit environment or maybe lower environments from production data very easily in just uh, a click so you can just uh, maybe couple of commands and then you can uh, get your uh, cloned data into another environment and then there is another feature called time travel so time travel means like you can go back in time so it supports uh, like you you can revert a change for example you want to undrop a table you can do that so there is a 
limit to time travel for example when you are using standard edition so then the time travel is one day but if you are using enterprise edition then the time travel is 90 days so similarly like it stores data in an optimal manner in an optimal manner columnar uh, optimal manner that means columnar columnar manner and storing data in columnar manner has its own advantages so the data format is fdn format uh, so this is like french word and this means snowflake in french so if you translate french to english then it means snowflake so uh, this is the format the data format in which data is stored in snowflake and it automatically partitions data internally automatically partitions data internally because in hive we have to do it explicitly and it is not so easy right? it is not so easy right apart from that it supports batch ingestion and real time ingestion it supports batch data loading and real time streaming data loading so it supports that apart from that snowflake has more than 4000 customers so lot of like if you go to snowflake website so many customers the partner ecosystem is rich so it is already in production ecosystem is rich rich so that means you can integrate snowflake with so many tools technologies apart from that it has many other features like um, the maintenance is almost zero so i'm not sure if i mentioned that there no i did not mention so i'm just thinking like maintenance is almost zero so there are so many other advantages like uh, virtually infinite resources it is asset compliant this is asset compliant and it supports transactions supports transactions so hope this makes sense